Legendary, legendary, it's legendary, legendary. But did he give what needed to be gave? Hi, yeah, 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 and welcome back for another video. Whoa, 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 y'all like this mug, honey? Get up in this mug, get up into this whatever it is a fancy bird's nest moment, honey. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff, whatever. So I, I just, I wanted to give my thoughts on Legendary, okay? Um, I'm not going to say who won, even though you've had enough time to watch. If you was going to watch, you would have already watched it by now. But, and just in case you want to go check it out, I won't spoil it and say who won. But I, I, I for those of you who have watched it, what, what do you think? Especially people who watch all three seasons. And, and I know I've jumped right into the topic or whatever, but... <sighs> Sometimes you just don't feel like doing intros and all that. You know, you just want to get right into the bulk, the mud, the, the juice of the video. So let's just move on. So Legendary is a, a ballroom competition show and that mostly focus on voguing, which leads me to kind of my first issue with the show. Now, well, now look, let's start with the positives. Okay, so first... <sighs> I like the judges panel. Megan Thee Stallion used to be on the judges panel for the first two seasons. For this third season, Megan was on there no more, and they had Kiki Palmer. Love Kiki Palmer. Love her so much, right? Um, I love Megan. I think they both did good. I think Megan left Legendary because of scheduling issues. If somebody has the tea on that, girl, let me know, because, you know, they be saying scheduling issues, but it really be some tea there, you know what I'm saying? So... Kiki did great, and, and and I will say, I love the way that Kiki gathered La Roach, which is another judge on the panel. I love the way Kiki gathered La and just, just Claire Huxtable, just put La in his place. So let's just go through the panel of judges while I'm talking about I like them. So you have Kiki Palmer, you have La Roach, which is a fashion designer, you have Laomi, which is, um, she she is actually from ballroom and actually really, really big and icon on the, the ballroom scene. And then you have Jamila, who is an actress. And then you have the host of the show, Deshaun, who is also an actress, dancer, choreographer, type of tease, right? So, I, 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 I like the panel themselves, but the judging of the show is some of the most discombobulated inconsistent judging that i've ever seen on any show and i i just like the scoring makes no sense to me and then like one group will score high and then another group will do the same exact thing but then they get points taken away for the set like I, for the same things that the other group got praised on it just all seemed very inconsistent um, I mean, I, I look, I, don't get me wrong, I ain't no ballroom expert, but it just seemed like there was no rhyme or reason to the judging. Um, and that kind of bothered me, because, you know, I wanted to be fair. Okay, so there's that. I, I, I like the whole idea of having, like, a tough judge. Having somebody who's kind of messy and kind of always, you know, I like that. And, and for the show, it was definitely La Roach. La Roach was definitely... The Simon Cowell of the show. He was that judge who was just very, like, hard to please. And I, you need that dynamic. You don't want a panel of judges that everybody like everything. I get that. But Law, I feel like, he be doing too much. He, he be arguing with the, uh, with the guest judges. And, and Bob the Drag Queen was a guest judge on there. Gathered. Gathered La Roach. Kiki Palmer gathered. La Roach and, and some of the other him and uh, La Roach and Tiffany Haddish had it out on like season two like yeah drama and stuff makes for good TV but there's a line where it's like people are gonna like not want to come on the show if you're gonna be just humiliating them on TV like there's a line between good TV and then just being just straight up rude and nasty for no reason but I will say Law has a good fashion sense. He's a good fashion designer. He's, you know, I get it. I, and maybe he's just amping it up for TV. So, you know, no shade. 
no shade or as as Deshaun would say no shot a what I will say what I don't like about the judges panel is that say that there's a tie so the four judges the four main panel judges will go and then the fifth guest person will have to break up the tie so the first four y'all know what I'm saying so the first four will say some give their vote and then if it's a tie then you leave the guests that have to be the tiebreaker and, and and to be a tiebreaker is no big deal but sometimes it felt like they set that person up on purpose and for some of the bigger competitions or for like the main events or for like closer to the end when you're getting towards like the semifinals and stuff I don't think that that judge should be left with the responsibility of breaking that tie because they have not seen that whole season. They they don't really know. Especially if it's somebody who doesn't know ballroom. Now, if the guest judge is somebody who from ballroom, then like, okay, then let them let them do, be the tiebreaker. But you don't need to be having, you know, Joe Schmo singer who doesn't know anything about ballroom being the tiebreaker and just being like, oh, well, I like them. And so I'm going to give it to them. Like, it just seems shady to me. It seems a little messy. It seems a little weird. Um, another thing that kind of seems shady, but they did kind of fix with season three. Now, the first two seasons, they critiqued the groups that, well, they call them houses. They critiqued the houses a lot based off of their wardrobe, but they kind of, they it's not like they bring their own costumes. It's not drag race. You like, you know what I'm saying? They kind of consult with like the uh with the costume team of Legendary, and then they have Legendary has their designers make the outfits for the houses. But the houses were getting like heavily critiqued, like they sold up the stuff themselves. And I'm like, how are you critiquing somebody for something that they, that they didn't even make? Like maybe like conceptually, like they might have had some say, but like if it's a matter of structure. Or, like, if they're wearing a shoe that maybe doesn't quite match. You don't know what happened back there in wardrobe. Like, maybe the, the wardrobe people got the wrong size shoe. And now, like, I, I don't know. I, I just felt like it was heavily weighted in, in season one and season two. And it, it was fixed in season three. But, like, I don't know. And then, I like, obviously, I really like the voguing aspect. aspect but I wish they would have left in... Uh, more of the other ballroom elements so like season one season two they had the uh they had a little bit more emphasis still like not a lot it was still very much a vogue show but i feel like in the first two seasons they put more emphasis on the different categories like you know walking face or butch queen femme queen uh floor perform it was more a highlight of like these different ballroom categories and i like that from an educational aspect of like people who don't know anything about ballroom like highlight all the ballroom because like if you just watch legendary you think ballroom is just a voguing competition and it's that's not right so um i get that maybe some of the the ballroom categories are not um maybe not exciting enough for tv and can be appreciated more in person uh, but you know, that's the, the, I mean, pop, that's pop culture. Pop culture is great because it brings, it shines a light on underground talent and underground artistry, but pop, when things become part of pop culture, it gets a little bit watered down. So I don't know. I, I feel like. I would like to see a season four, but I would like to see a season four a little bit different. Like if it's just going to be another just a uh, main focus vote competition, I think I've I think I've seen enough. I'm I'm okay with it. I I really like them. I really like that Kiki was there. Maybe Kiki and Megan can can come back. Uh, Kiki did great as a judge. I will say that Megan did good too, but I feel like. I feel like Kiki was a little more comfortable in doing that. And maybe because Kiki is, is an actress and she's more comfortable being in front of the camera. Like, obviously, Megan's comfortable being in front of the camera, but she's also a rapper. She's a performer. She's, you know, and Kiki's been in the game a whole lot longer, obviously, than Megan. So, um, 
I don't know if I need to see a season four. If if this is what it, if this is what it is, then I don't. Can we get some more? Can we get different producers? Can we? I don't know. I don't know what you can do to make it different, but I need something spicy. Um, as far as like the creativity of the layout of the show, but like with not more. I don't need no more spiciness with the judges and the and the arguing and stuff. Like I get that ballroom is spicy, but like come on, you you represent something that people don't know about. People go. What y'all are doing with this show, you know, and you have other shows too, like Pose, and maybe a little bit of like some of these drag shows, and not necessarily drag race, but like all the other ones, like you might see a little bit of Vogue, but really legendary, like y'all re representing. So I don't know, get it together. I, I... And then the music. The music is good, but can we just get a little more variety? Like I, I don't know. I don't know. Those of you who have seen it, what do you, what do you think? Do you need a season four? Have you seen enough? What, what did you like? What did you not like? I, I, cause I'm, I'm very like on the fence. I feel like it, it, I feel like it has potential to be really, really great, but something's missing. So, but anyways, I just give me a little. A little, a little Naomi, Naomi be doing the love. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on Legendary. Congratulations to the winning house. If you come back for season four, I will be tuning in. Let me know who your favorite uh, Legendary house is or who your favorite house in general is. And uh, subscribe, thumbs up, all these good things. And like, yeah. Get into this mug, honey. Get into this mug. The little eye on it. Anyways, I'm not even gonna get back. <laughs>